every wall is a slightly different process. The concept was months ago. I just came up with the idea. I have no idea why I thought of underwater or where that came from, but it, it was just something that seemed cool. And then I do a, sort of a crude outline on my computer uh, in Photoshop, and that outline I will project onto the wall at night. Once I get the image up on the wall, the outline, then then comes the easy part, actually. just. Uh, I've got the photos printed out on just normal paper and I'm just just go to it. I normally start with the dark areas and work towards the light areas and just kind of move like a printer from one section of the painting all the way down. Um, I went to university in Baltimore and uh, I studied art education so I was a middle school art teacher for almost a decade uh, and I was telling children all day every day that they should be artists, that it's the coolest job out there and it's so uh, creative and fun and you can make your own hours and I think I just sort of convinced myself. I wasn't really making art at the time and I just kind of took my own advice and I started painting in my basement for a little while and I really liked what I was doing and I really felt like I, if I had more time I could really sort of discover something. I quit my job, I sold everything I owned, and I moved to Berlin with my wife and just said, hey look, I'm a full-time artist now. I don't know what that means or where, where it's going to go, but this is what I'm doing. I live in Berlin, and in Berlin there's a lot of abandoned spaces to sort of practice, and that's what I was doing. Um, I'm 37 now, and I just picked up a spray can for the first time maybe like five years ago, and started going to these abandoned spaces and just learning. 